Hello my friends, this is Paul Drockton, and we're going to talk about the Utah Buckshot Caucus, which is an organization that is doing everything it can to take away the rights of the Utah Republican uh, rank and file to choose their candidates. And they've been responsible for a lot of other corruption. Uh, one of the scumbags, his name is Daryl Acumen. And this guy has changed his name purportedly, reportedly, according to the Utah Standard News, uh, 10 times. Why would you change your name 10 times? And no one really knows much about this guy, uh, where he came from. But apparently, again, quoting from the Utah Standard News, uh, he has the database for the Utah Republican Party on his personal computer. So literally, he has a monopoly on information where it goes, who has access to that database, what they hear, and uh, what messages they receive. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Um, I've dealt with these people, and let me tell you one story about Daryl Ackerman, and your skin is going to crawl. There's a lady. Uh, her name is uh, Julie, uh, Julie Blaney. She was a uh, vice chairman of the Republican Party here, and she had gotten authorization to use, written authorization, to use party funds for uh, printing copies of the U.S. Constitution and the Bill of Rights to hand out at the Republican Party. Who would have a problem? Would you have a problem with that? Would you have a problem with someone handing out copies of the U.S. Constitution at a Republican Party event? Would you have any problem paying for those? Well, apparently... Uh, Daryl Acumen uh, was incensed uh, that this expenditure, and he accused her and slandered her and libeled her and defamed her uh, and said that the money had been stolen from the Republican Party. And this poor lady, they dragged her through the dirt. So on principle, what she did is she sued Daryl Acumen for $1. One dollar. And the judge that heard the case, her name is uh, Christina Cook. I'm sorry, Christina Johnson? Christine Johnson. Judge Christine Johnson. And this woman ruled in Utah that the vice chairman, Daryl Acumen, had the right to defame Julie Blaney. This, my friends, is how bad and how corrupt things have gotten here in Utah. Now, who is Daryl Acumen? Well, he's got close ties to uh, Chavitz, who was the hand-picked successor uh, by Huntsman to replace uh, another scumbag by the name of Christopher Cannon. And these guys are Jesuits, my friends. They're not Mormon. They're Jesuits. They, they are adopting the same policies that the Jesuit Pope, Pope Francis, is adopting in the, in the Catholic Church. They've already infiltrated the church. They control the upper levels of the church, and it's the same agenda. And it's no longer a Mormon church. You and I are nothing more than a, an extension of the Jesuit organization. And the Jesuit organization is run by an individual known as the Black Pope, who traditionally has been the closest advisor to the Pope. But now that Pope Francis is in, the Catholic Church has its first Jesuit Pope, and they no longer need to hide behind the curtains, and the agenda's out in the open. Francis, of course, uh, just uh, forgave, I don't remember the number, I think it was 6,660 pedophile priests. Um, in addition to that, he came out and said that uh, there is no hell. Uh, that <laughs> I mean, this guy is uh, he's a communist. He's always been a communist. Because in the end, communism originated with the religious orders. And it was a way for them to control massive amounts of wealth. And it was a way for them to secretly take control of other organizations, which they've been infiltrating now uh, for the last 400 years. So wherever there's a big pool of money, bet your sweet bippy that you're going to see these individuals there. So let me tell you about my personal experience with Judge um, 
Judge uh, Christine Cook. I'm sorry, just Christine Johnson. Um, I had, uh, my son and I had gone to uh, court against two attorneys who we had almost, I don't even remember, it was like 180 uh, charges against them that were clear violation of Utah's RICO statute, which is uh, anti-corruption statute. Um, the federal statute's is racketeering and corrupt organizations. I don't remember what the name of the Utah statute is. The difference between the federal and the state is that in the federal court, because there's been so many RICO lawsuits, uh, you have to identify an entity, an organization, a corporation, purportedly. I don't read it that way, but Judge uh, Cook does. And I wanted a jury trial. I didn't want to be heard by a judge. I didn't want the judge ruling on it. So long story short is she ruled that under federal recall law, which by the way, she had no jurisdiction and I wasn't suing in federal court, I was suing in Utah state court, that I had no grounds for my lawsuit. She literally denied me my constitutional right to a jury trial. So what did I do? File complaints against her, the two attorneys, with the Utah Bar Association, which was another waste of time. So why am I telling you all this? I want you to know that Utah is run by a secret combination which the Book of Mormon warns us against, whose only purpose is to get gain and to corrupt justice for and in behalf of their fellow criminals, which is what it does. Uh, there's another individual who posted that this judge uh, sent his dad away to prison for misdemeanor pot possession. The same judge uh, has a reputation for being very, very soft on pedophiles and also for being very, very soft and other criminals. And the question you need to be asking yourself is how do we get rid of this corruption? Well, let me explain this to you. We can get rid of the corruption if enough of us are united. So what I want you to do is I want you to pray. I want you to pray for me. Pray for me. Give me your authorization to prosecute these criminals in the courts of heaven. I've been doing this, my friends, and it's powerful. And I promise you uh, that the Lord will help us clean up this mess because this has been promised. He promised us that uh, he would start with his church and that first he would clean up his church and then he would worry about the rest of the world. Remember, the United States of America is a choice land according to the Book of Mormon and none shall possess this land except they worship the God of the land, which is Jesus Christ. So I need you to pray and ask the Lord to please remove this corruption. And you need to list the individuals that are involved in it. And that full list is uh, on my Facebook page or Google it. And trust me when I tell you, he'll start removing these people. And you're going to be reading about it in the papers because he's done with them. I've personally, personally spoken to him face to face. And this is my charge to expose corruption in this state. And through faith, to help him to get rid of it. But I need your help. It's your free agency right now. It's not mine. You have to be sick of it. So if you are truly sick of this corruption, the first thing I recommend you do, stop paying your tithing. Stop supporting it financially. You're not giving to the Mormon church anymore. You're giving to the Jesuit Society of Jesus. That's what we're doing right now. So there's absolutely no reason at all for us to support this church financially. The leaders of the church, if you take a look at the money that they take in, I've given them over a million dollars in tithing in my lifetime, which if you take interest and if you add uh, what I could have done with investments is really $10 million in today's money. I could have built personally, personally built a temple with that or two temples. Now, globally, we have 70 temples, which if we were to build 70 temples, spending 10 million each, which they didn't, some of those temples cost 2 million or 3 million, but we'll give them the benefit of the doubt, 10 million, then that's $700 million. $700 million. It's not even a billion dollars. The church takes in $40 billion per year. $40 billion. Not million, billion dollars. So how many temples do you think, after years and years and years of collecting billions of dollars, how many temples do you think we really should have in this world of ours? A lot more than 70. You should have a temple on every corner in Utah alone. But clearly... All they're doing is they're using the temples 
as a front for their criminal operations, which is designed to corrupt. So the money that you give to them, it ends in, up in the hands of these evil organizations. And it's being used to not only corrupt Utah, but to corrupt the entire United States. So you need to starve them. Stop giving them your money. Pray about what I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now, this is what the Lord wants you to do. How do I know? Because he told me to my face. And he doesn't lie. I'm going to tell you another little secret. These people have done everything they could to take my life. Everything they could to destroy my life. Everything they could to destroy my businesses and operations. Yet here I am. The reason for that is because I serve Jesus Christ. He is more powerful than they are. My God is bigger than their God. And in the end, my God's going to win. Because this is a chosen land. This is a choice land. And if those individuals that are running this abomination that we refer to as the Mormon church today, if these individuals um, are not swept from the land, then they will literally turn this land over to Satan. And God is not going to permit that. And that is my faith. So I need you to join me. I need you to spread this message. I need you to make sure that we make that we get to as many people as possible. It doesn't take a lot of us. One person with faith can accomplish amazing miracles, and I'm a living testimony of that. So join me. You have the faith. Stop letting these people push you around. Stop giving in to their satanic demands. Stop letting them use these temples, which really were supposed to be houses of the Lord, as golden calves to plunder and to rob you of your resources. And you can take that 10%. And you can drive around, and I guarantee you, you can find plenty of people that would benefit from the use of that money. And I'm not telling you not to help people. I'm just telling you to stop giving it to wicked men and evil people that are using it for corrupt purposes. Anyhow, let's work on this. Let's focus on this. Let's pray about this. Let's get rid of these evil people through faith. I promise you that I'm working in the Spirit. I am literally in the heavenly courts taking these people there. Just yesterday... I took Jason Chavitz to court. I also took John Huntsman Jr. to court in the heavens. And I'm telling you right now, Daryl Ackerman, you've also been taken to court. And the charges, I'm not going to tell you what the judge ruled. Just watch. I'm giving you the names. Keep an eye on them. Let me know how their lives turn out here in the near future. And I'd be, it's going to be very interesting to watch how much power they really have in this world of ours. Because I am telling you right now, time for talk is over. The Lord is done. And he's going to start cleansing these United States, starting with the corruption at the head of the Mormon church. And starting with the corruption at the head of Utah government. And starting with the Utah Republican Party and its leaders. And if enough of us pray and ask for it, the Lord will listen. Because not only do we represent ourselves, but we represent the innocent victims that these people have murdered, denied justice to, imprisoned, silenced, intimidated, raped. We represent the innocent children that they've abused. We represent the victims like the one who was raped in the MTC basement. And literally, we represent the Lord Jesus Christ. And trust me, he's on your side and mine. God bless my friends. I need to know. Let me know if you're with me or not. Have a great day.